Las Vegas. Welcome to Off Script, a digital show to keep you in the know with a twist. I'm your host, Andrew Nomura, and here are five stories that's trending right now in the Valley. We are going to start you off with a millennial Gen Z coin phrase, we want all the smoke. Yeah, Thrive Cannabis Marketplace just got the green light to open up the first ever cannabis lounge here in Las Vegas later this month. The spot will be called Smoke and Mirrors, offering a unique space for users to get as high as the strap. It will be located just north of Resorts World. And you know who will be there probably checking it out? Yeah, these two. The Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, the wrestling legend, nature boy, Ric Flair, and one of the greatest boxers of all time, Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah, they were seen in Vegas yesterday, hanging out and smoking together. Let me get two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! And if you ever want to know how it feels to be John Wick, well, you'll soon be able to do just that, a new immersive entertainment experience based on the action movies is coming to Las Vegas, is going to be at Area 15, packed with interactive actions, theme bars, and guests will be tasked with specific missions. Just be sure not to mess with John's dog if you know, you know. The John Wick experience is set to open later this year. And for all of my millennials out there, this one is for you. The X-Men are back. Love you all, my X-Men. Fate lies in our hands now. Now. Oh yeah, y'all are watching the new trailer for X-Men 97 that just dropped. This is a reboot of the famous X-Men cartoon that debuted back in 1992. The story continues with what looks to be Professor X passing away and leaving the mission to his students, packed with your favorite characters like Storm, Wolverine, and Cyclops. Taking a live look now at T-Mobile Arena where Usher is bringing his past, present, future tour on November 15th and 16th. This comes after the singer announced he is extending his tour due to high demand. Usher just released his ninth studio album, Coming Home, ahead of his Super Bowl performance, and it hit number one on Apple Music's top album chart. Tickets for November show are now on sale. Keep it locked right here on News3LV.com for all of your latest headlines and local news. You've just gone off script.